I think Don's right. I think you should help me. Hey, I'm not saying we have to be friends or anything. Strictly business, no strings attached. Hey, maybe I could do something for you too. Anything. I just can't afford to get left back anymore. I already got hair on my balls, Caesar. So what do you say, huh? You gonna help me or what? Come on, please. Hey, you can still be a faggot as far as I'm concerned. Please, Caesar, huh? Corb, you can't tell me you lied to your father. I'll make you go back and apologize to him. Then I'll break your goddamn legs. Tell me it was a bus driver you lied to. You know, someone you're never gonna see again. Right. And what's this, huh? You stole 22 times? What the fuck are you, a goddamn Jesse James? And what'd you steal? He's gonna wanna know. And he's gonna tell you to bring it all back. Here, change this 22 to two. You tell him it was some food or something. What if he wants me to bring that back? What, the crap? Oh. And uh, add three lines to the others. But don't tell him it's him you were lying to. You know, like you forgot who it was. Then you're home free. Yeah, but that still leaves me with one line. Yeah, but it's a beautiful trade-off. Bless me, Father, for I've sinned. It's been three months since my last confession. Go on. Um, I've lied three times. I've been angry very often. I've shown disrespect to my elders several times. Hey, Williams, you got your list? Oh, yeah. Let's take a look. Jesus, you got here, you jerked off 168 times. It's been one month since your last confession. It's an average of, uh... 5.6 times a day. Oh, my God. You can't tell him that. He'll cut your balls off. Here. Make this three jerk-offs. Divide the rest into impure thoughts and wet dreams. And add another line to your list. Check. What kind of magazine? Uh, one with pictures in it. What kind of pictures? Pictures of things. Uh, women, father. Now, what did you think about when you looked at these pictures? Think about? Did you have any thoughts? Yes, father. What kind of thoughts? Impure thoughts, Father. I was coming to that scene. When you had these impure thoughts, did you commit impure acts? Yes, Father. I was coming to that scene also. How often did you commit these impure acts? Oh, just once. Just once? You sure about that? I want you to think for a moment. Yes, just once, Father. When you committed these impure acts, did you do it alone? Or with someone else? Oh, no, alone. Always alone. Always? I happen to just once. Oh, I mean just once. Alone. What's he gonna confess? Taking a shit? What is taking so long? Perrin's in there. Perrin the pervert? Yeah, and father of bruising. Perrin the pervert named for your acts of bruising. God, I'm gonna be here all day. I want you to throw that magazine away. And I want you to give the money back to your parents. Oh, no, I can't. Well, you're going to have to. For your penance, say six Our Fathers and twelve Hail Marys. And I want you to say Rosary every day for a week. Can you remember all that? Yes. Make an act of contrition. Oh, my God, I'm heartily sorry for having offended thee, and I detest all my sins because I dread the loss of heaven and the pains of hell, but most of all because they offend thee, my God, who art all good and deserving of all my love. What? What? You little weasel! Come on, Father, I was only joking! Keep an eye out for Father Bootsy. Yeah. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. 
It's been six weeks since my last confession. Go on, my son. Father, I'd like to confess a sin I thought I could live with, but it's becoming a problem. An impure act? Something much worse. Really? Father, I entered and typically won an interborough essay contest. I accepted a nominal cash prize, and the article was published in a community paper. Big deal, my son. Father, I failed to footnote some of my sources. Get to the sin, please. Plagiarism, Father. Alone or with someone else? With a girl? I, I did it myself. Yes, so? Father, if this is discovered, it could someday keep me out of Harvard. And Father, I was conceived to go to Harvard. All right, all right, you are forgiven. Do you have any other good stuff? Impure thoughts, desires, fantasies? No, Father. What? What kind of a faggot are you, anyway? Dominus Vobiscum, shithead. You're gonna recite one hour father, one hell Mary, and you're gonna help your buddy, Ed Rooney, get passing grades. Or you could kiss off Harvard, pal. There is no God. Hey, I'm telling you guys, slow dancing. Fast dancing's for faggots, man. Girls fast dance with their sisters. I mean, think about it for a second. Her body, her soft, perfumed and powdered body, leaning against yours. Her legs, her thighs moving against yours. Her delicate, perfectly formed knobs. Oh, Jesus. Hey, and it's all legal. It is? Yeah. All right. My name is Brother Timothy, and I have been sentenced to uh, preside over this series of dances. First of all, I'd like to welcome the Virgin Martyr girls and thank them for coming. <laughs> And I had a note to remind you that there will be a first Friday novena this coming Friday. And now, let me introduce to you Father Abruzzi, who will be giving the first talk. Thanks. Father? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, these dances are designed to help you learn to interact with one another in a way befitting young men and women of a strong moral fiber. You're all at an age now when you're perhaps beginning to notice the difference between the boys and the girls. And just as she is at every other important moment of your life, the church is here to guide you Many of you will be experiencing certain feelings. Feelings which you might be inclined to confuse with love. But ladies and gentlemen, never confuse love with the deadliest of the seven deadly sins. right, ladies and gentlemen. Lust is the beast within you. The beast that wants to come.